Yeah, why not? <laughs> wow, literally. Did it start in the middle of a beat? Jay, you ready? I almost asked you, and I wish I had just for the motivation to switch it out for the Chips theme song and not tell Damon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to <laughs> That Checks Out with Ponch and John. Yes. I'm Ponch. That makes him John. Oh. <laughs> Nailed it. Because you thought, you thought of the order. I was going to take John. I know. I was like, come on. First... Punch. So I thought I, I thought I had. All it. right, Poncherello, how was your week? You know what? I right, gotta, you're I, thinking I'm going to preempt you. You are infuriating. We <laughs> had to change <laughs> yeah. the, the schedule. Yeah, for you. <laughs> Not for me, but for family. Yes, but yeah. My, I, well, I, I of the three of us, it was your. It was my audible. It was your group. That it was my audible. Change. Right. Correct. Yes. And I, I really, I honestly couldn't make it work. I couldn't make it work. And finally, you're just like, I'm just going to leave it to Wilson. Whatever he says, the time will, I'll make it happen. So I said, Brian said, Are we going to? Are you still guys going to record? I can be here by 1:30. And I said. 1.30 is fine. I'll make it work. He agreed. Cut to today. <laughs> like 12.45. Hey, are we still doing 1.30? I was Every time I we change something. the schedule, we agree to it. <laughs> right before we're supposed to be here, Damon's like, so are we still doing the thing we all talked about and agreed on? Well, yeah, I was, I was just... I should have done that to Sober Coffee today because they asked me to come in a half hour early. early oh, really? 5.30 a.m. and they did not show up. You're lucky I was in the left lane because I would have turned. I almost turned around. If I would have been on the right and could have just taken a right and gone back home, I was like, you know what? Let those two figure it out. Yeah. That checks out with and John. <laughs> I get to be punched then. That's awesome. No, I took you out because I oh. I wasn't here. So and John is here. Oh, All right. Have you figured out what you were going to say? Now that I give you a little... Well, no, I mean, honestly, I, I have a dead to me. That's what I wanted to start with. Is it, I, this, is it this beverage I purchased from 7-Eleven? It is not, but Cause, it- Because it's on that list. It looks really gross. It's, it, no, it, it's supposed to, the picture indicates it's supposed to taste like a, a rocket pop or a bomb pop. Mm -hmm. Whatever won't get us pulled off of uh, the air. <laughs> yeah, not sponsored. Which Call is us. weird because that's a th it's a three-layer popsicle. Each layer tastes different. This doesn't taste like any of those layers or the combination of any of the layers. Well, the can is slightly red, white, and blue. Yeah, I mean, the, the look is great. Yeah, they they kind of, they went for it on the, the on taste the is kind of like, yes. All right, go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to so continue to drink it, though, because so, I need the cap. So you have a dead to me. That's your drink. Right. Okay. Well, and, and, I, and John. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's me, right? Yeah. Okay, that's me. So uh, my dead to me. This, and you want to know this is why it's so it's 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 in my brain because it's, it's max air conditioning. Well, yeah, that too. But that's dead to everybody because it hasn't worked forever. <laughs> but anyway, work. Yeah, that's actually clinically dead. We're not right. Yeah, but anyway, um, no anybody who puts a ham radio antenna on their Corvette, get out of town. Now, now let me let me let me do this. Get Look at my town. capitals, especially what on the left front fender. Okay, here I would have put. You have especially capitalized for me to read it. I yeah. also would have put front capitalized. Yes. But I but I put especially the left front fender. Here's the deal. You don't need a ham radio on your Corvette. Okay. You're not smoking the bandit days are gone. Yeah. You can use your cell phone if you're trying to, you know, run blocker for a, a uh, load from Texarkana. Breaker one, breaker one. <laughs> I'm trying to compensate for a tiny G.I. Joe guy. Breaker yes. one, breaker one. Anyone out there? Anyone out if there? If that's the case, I have like 19 antennas <laughs> coming off the fender of my vehicle. Okay, that's the purpose of the Corvette. Right. And yeah. then you put the uh, right. ham radio on it. But, uh, but no, when I saw this, so now here's what made me think of it. So I, I wrote this down like a, a week ago when I saw it, and it bothered me. I was driving here today on the same stretch of highway. Did you see it again? Here's the deal. I had this forest green, like 94, 95 Corvette in my rearview mirror, and I said, there's no way that's the same car. So I slow down, and I'm like, no, it ain't the same car. Because I don't see it in the mirror. I don't see it sticking up. Drives past me? Yep. Judge past you, all you could focus on was the... Whoa, 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 yeah, whoa, whoa, I was like, you got to be kidding me. You know? I, who are you talking to? I would... Did you pull up beside him and point at his at his vendor <laughs> no. and then give him the shrug like, oh, bro? No, and he didn't even like he didn't fit the bill of like a guy who would have uh, a he, CB antenna he on his Corvette. He wasn't wearing uh, a fanny pack and fresh white kicks. Is what no, you said. he was not. He was not fresh white kicks. <laughs> cool dad's reference. That, I like where you went yeah, there. Yeah, I like yeah. where you went there. It's, it's called synergy. <laughs> yeah. Not the drink. Not the drink. that's dead to him. Something else. Um, but no. So anyway, I I did want to say that. Again, if you need to put any kind of, that's an untimely addition. That'd be like me putting a, a a a UHF antenna on the roof of my house, you know, all the way up like you know used to do, yeah. and just be like, okay, now I should get great TV reception. Well, it'd be like getting a supercar, you know, and then getting putting one of those boomerang shaped TV antennas. They used to have limos <laughs> in the eighties, right? Right. <laughs> you're, you're correct. What is that? Well, I get my direct TV through that, so it works out well. Works out well. Are you getting your C-SPAN on that? What are you, what are you doing with that? <laughs> yeah. But it's just because it's it's so outdated. It's like, but here's the deal. Once you drill through the fender of your Corvette, right. what are you doing? Taking the bracket off? 
Well, you know what I mean? You're not taking it apart. He, is he trying to communicate with with people in like the other side of the hemisphere? I, it's ham radio. I mean, you, you still have a distance. <laughs> Great, everything is really like really silent because it's you know presumably they've built it decently. It's got like right. nice resistance from wind inside. The nice cabin is quiet, but all of a sudden all you hear is. Yeah. <laughs> I got a wind noise. Ooh, we almost hit a channel. Hold on, go back. Yeah. Spin around. So close. Is that yeah. the wind? Oh, no, no, no. It's just the ham radio. <laughs> Put it in park. I want to finish this episode. You know what I mean? What do you well, do? What, you get to a stoplight. The wind doesn't stop. And people are like, what, what was that? I thought you had like a like a leaky seal or something. Like, oh, no, that's so just weird. the radio. Yeah. But like I said, there's no way it could be the same car. Straight same up. car. Yeah, same car. And then I had one other thing where- uh, I got a travel story when you want to get- You got a there. travel story? Yeah. I tell you what, let me hit this real fast. We, we went, so of course, Easter just passed- um, so I volunteer, uh, church or church, Chuck and myself to work the parking lot of church, church. Let me explain to you. No one likes a bride. <laughs> Are these people that haven't been to church in a hundred years and don't know how to park? Well that, and you know how the parking lot's made to like hold your capacity every week. Um, you know, oh, yeah, there's but, two times a year where the capacity, like they blow the walls out yeah, and they're in the field the, across the way yeah, watching the lilies and the evergreen. People. Correct. So anyway, and then the best part was the first service, which is, you know, so we, we go to the first service, it goes like 10, 15 minutes over. We oh only no. have a 30 minute window. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's like a comedy show when the headliner won't take the light and you're yeah. like, uh, I got another, I got a whole audience of people out that door. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to get all of these people out and all of those people in. Correct. You're not that funny. Right. Right. But I'm just, well, here's the deal. Well, actually, and did you do that? Did you start giving the pastor the light? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're lighting them. Hey, hey, take a clue. Take a clue. Start um, playing the music. No, but what was funny is I told uh, him. Oh, wait, they're amazing grace me off the stage? What's going <laughs> yeah. on? What's going on? This is my church. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're just playing them off. Mm-hmm. It just, it's, the, it's the Oscar. It's the uh, Oscar yeah. music. That's yeah. all it is. It's like, where's that coming from? You know? Our God is an awesome God. Get them off. <laughs> yeah. Get them off. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but no, we had like so then we had like a 15, 20 minute turnaround. And it was like, oh no. <laughs> I mean, it really we got outside and it, we we had to commission some more people, but it was oh it was so crazy. And then like you feel bad because it's Easter Sunday, but you're like, hey, stop talking and walk to your car. Right. Hey, stop talking and walk to your car. You know, you're just individually walking up with flashlights to people. Yeah, I'm light lighting you. Light it up. <laughs> We're in a sunny parking lot. It doesn't matter. You're still getting the light. It is hey, what it uh, is. Can you go three blocks down to the school and continue this conversation? Because I can't have it here. So. So that was that was the first part of our day. The second part of our day, we went to lunch, and we went to a restaurant. Um, has really good burgers. Well, yeah, we went to a restaurant. No. I see. I, I see did, your I, face. I, I, You're I, like, oh, I, really? I saw That's his where you face. Lunch? Yeah. I knew it was gonna be sassy. <laughs> but uh, so the waitress walks away. Or I'm sorry, my son goes to the restroom. When when the waitress walks right up, he's going to the restroom. And I said, hey, I said, could you do me a favor? Could you could you do some way acknowledge his mustache or what he believes <laughs> is his mustache? And she, and she goes, huh? And I go, listen, uh, like you know, bring the bill, you know, give it to the give it to the guy with the mustache, right? And so anyway, so he comes back, okay, and he's sitting down and he's eating, and he's doing it. He had a horseshoe. We were at Abe's, so he's eating a full shoe, a nice shoe. He's eating a full shoe, okay. So if you ever had a horseshoe anywhere, a, amazing plate of food, but that's what he's chowing on. So anyway, she walks back up to the table and she goes, "Can I get you guys anything else?" And I'm like, "No, nah, no, we're good." And she goes, "Well, then who who am I handing the check to? Would it be this young man over here with the uh, with the mustache?" Like that. And and he turned and he's and like he's going to put a bite of food in his mouth. And I go, You saw it? Like that, right? And I go, I go, is the whole restaurant talking about it? That's what I said. I go, is the whole restaurant? She's like, maybe. You know, and I'm like, the whole restaurant talking about that mustache? And so <laughs> he literally, right before he puts the next bite in his mouth, he looks at me and he goes, So that's what we did when I was in the bathroom, huh? And then he just puts the food in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, it's funny now. I can't rattle a kid, you know? So, but yeah. It was- Somewhere around episode four fifty, I'm gonna be like, Thank you for joining us for that checks out with Ted. Illinois man murders father for just <laughs> finally going one step too far. Man with killer mustache murders father. <laughs> Coincidentally, Damon is no longer on the show. I'll let you do the math. Chuck, I owe you $100. <laughs> now we can finally get into serious topics. Who, who had 2025 20, yeah. in the pool? <laughs> who had this on the pool? I know where you can get a slightly used recliner yeah. and a so, beige mattress. So you fast forward to the next day. And uh, they're running out the door to get something. Uh, my daughter volunteers them to take them to the store to, to get like Dr. Pepper or something. I, she goes, Chuck can take me. So I said, okay, go ahead. So I said, but you give the speech. Now you as a parent too, you have an older son, uh, older than your daughter. So if they're going to go somewhere in the car for whatever reason, and he's in charge, the speech would be, hey, take care, look after your sister. 
That's what you do. Oh, it okay. basically be like, hey, uh, I know how you guys screw around in the house. That does yeah. not happen in the car. Does not happen in the car. And secondly, when you're out in public, uh, like I'm responsible for your safety when we're all together. But when I'm not, you, you're now responsible for her safety. It's cheaper if only one comes back. I don't, I don't, <laughs> so, I don't understand your process here, so but whatever. Said, so I literally says, I go, hey, I go, hey, you know the drill, this and that. And he goes, <laughs> and he goes, turns to me, hand to God as he steps out the door and he goes, who's going to mess with this unit? And Marissa, Marissa goes, and his mustache. <laughs> and I lost my mind. And he, and, he, and she shut the door. Again, we're just having fun with this. But this is like, this has been the last week in my house is we just kind of, uh, we're having fun with the newest thing we have. You follow me? When I was in high school, you were there. Yeah. I went into the liquor store to get boxes and they tried to sell me beer. <laughs> I got a bunch of kids into an R-rated movie at the local theater. I was like, oh, they're with me. It's fine. Right. That's the beard and mustache I was rolling in high school. Correct. I wish I had was had the youth of, of young Chuck. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, it, like, hey, you know what? You know what, Chuck? You're just going to have to take care of it. Yeah. So you're either going to have to shave it or maintain it. Yeah. Go yeah. back to the days when you didn't have to do anything. Don't, 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 right. don't force it. Right. Don't, hey, listen, don't hang on to it. You're going to have a lot of time. We're going to hang I, on to I'm stuff. Gonna, I'm going to raise this garbage drink to your daughter <laughs> and say, well played. It was well played, right? I thought it was a very solid out. Like mm -hmm. when you, you know, when you exit on a high note, like you didn't need a lighter. Yeah. It's like, wow, she yeah. left on the finisher. Yeah. I, I would have literally turned your lights off and gone to bed. <laughs> Day's over. Guys, just be quiet when you come in. Uh, yeah. Dad's turning in. Yeah, it's there weird. is. I cannot take any more there, today. Yeah, there is nothing that will top that. <laughs> you won today. Try again tomorrow. <laughs> so, so what's your travel story? <laughs> so, uh, I checked into my hotel on Tuesday. Nobody likes a bragger. On Friday, I found out it doesn't actually lock. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, actually, I, I found that out. On, Were you cuddling? Is I that how you that found out? out? On, I found that out on Thursday, but I was just too lazy to go down and tell the front desk. I didn't want to move my stuff. <laughs> Because so you know you go in and you turn the like the, the the secondary deadbolt and you flip that little thing. Right. Sometimes it's a chain. Sometimes it's a little L shaped thing. You flip and the yeah. door can open. And it grabs so it, yeah. I was doing that. But then um, I was outside. I went out. I, sh I shut the door and I was like, oh wait, I forgot something. Went back and I just like put my hand on the door to get the key out of my pocket and the door just pushed right open. And I went, huh? <laughs> shut it again. This time I grabbed it pretty hard. Shut it. Pushed right open. Went in. Went inside. Pushed it. Turned that thing. Notice that the deadbolt was looked like it was going over, but it was just going over part way and hitting, oh, the, hitting the jam. So from yes. the inside, it looked like it was going over. So yeah, for, <laughs> for three days, I was in that room with the only thing keeping people from coming in was that little L shaped piece. Yeah. So when I check out, I was like, any problems? Like, no, not not problem per se. Just for the future reference, the door doesn't lock. And they're like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, okay. Well, first the earth cooled. Right. Then we invented <laughs> and I. It, I almost was like the, the process to tell them and understand and to fill out their paperwork was so long. I almost was like, this is probably why no one has told you at this point. Cause it, this is such a pain in the ass. Just, just write down, check the door when you go up there, it does not lock. Yeah. But also there are some, uh, apparently your kid level hooligans in the building because at one point nice. I heard, I heard, I heard a loud noise. I just didn't pay attention. I was like, we have kids in the hall, whatever. Right. They had taken my number off the wall and switched it with the one across the hall. <laughs> So I came out and I looked at it. I was like, wait, how? I, like, I literally opened the door and went, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm looking I'm at in, I, Whoa. It was like a Scooby Doo moment <laughs> yeah. where I went in one door as I came out the other. <laughs> right. And then I, I, Mr. I, Smithers. I started to look and I, was, I, I saw the, the number on my side was just slightly askew. And I went, it can't be that easy to take these off. I, they're just command work, work strips. That's all it was. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. And they restuck, though. Yeah. Well, nice. I, I'm. It's, as far as I, the longest I was there, yes. But yeah, <laughs> that, that was a noise I heard. It was them like just, I think they were just running down the hall, like just going, doo, 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 knocking see, them all I off. I was going to say, if you'd have done that, I wouldn't have put any, I wouldn't have messed them around and changed them. I would have just took them all off, you know? That would have been funnier. You know what would have been funnier? Because if you're not like one from the stairs or one from the elevator, you're like, was it, was it, wait, was it this one? But if, but if you're across the hall, so if you're in 709 and they, and they put 710 on your side and your door doesn't lock, you're cuddling with the guy from oh, 710. Oh, for sure. All right. For sure. <laughs> You uh, you better hope he's not at a conference and he's like a little half in the that, back. That would totally you're cuddling. That would totally turn into Uncle Larry's routine. <laughs> Come on in. I am disturbed. I am disturbed. <laughs> so you're in my. I know. I asked for you, <laughs> but I know. Uh, it, it, same way when you try to explain it and they want you to like spell it out. It's like no, I'm not fixing it for you. I'm not telling you how no. it's. I'm telling you it does not work. Well, why? Go figure it out. Also, Go look. This this is a story you and you and Brian will love. There was a. My new job inquire, uh, entails moving sometimes, like moving locations of, of uh, businesses and stuff. Yeah. So I was at the old location. 
Forget, maybe we should take the signage down so people don't get confused and it's a uh, stick on, it's like an adhesive vinyl on the door. Yeah. It's like a rectangle and I'm grabbing it and I'm down on my haunches because it's down in the bottom corner and it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Guess what it did? Oh, it just took off? It snapped in two. Oh. Yeah. And I flew back probably two and a half feet, <laughs> landed on my keys, which were in my back pocket <laughs> and then my head. <laughs> And I did that thing like, well, at least no one's around because where this place is closed. I look up, there's someone. Right. Yeah. By. But again, because it's me, they didn't go, you all right? They just went, <laughs> and then just like, you're yeah. off. His head broke his fall. He's all good. It's all good. Landing on my keys, but, man. Like, time stood still when I like I heard the thing snap, and my brain just was like, Yo, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> next thing I know, fudge. Yeah, next thing I know, my keys but, are inside of my cheeks. But he did not say fudge. Yeah, but I had not said fudge. <laughs> I made fudge, but yes. I had not said fudge. And his keys landed in it. <laughs> exactly. Speaking of which, can you, can you touch my keys real quick? Yeah. Hey. Hey, the good thing is it was the rental car keys, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, good luck, buddy. I brought you back the keys. First off, they don't smell like weed. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> when I got back to the airport last night, I was I got uh I got in the elevator to go up to my the floor that my car was on. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, this is the dankest thing I've been in all week. And as it opened up, I was like, some there was an older couple in there, and I'm like, oh, be like hot box. And I just like <laughs> <laughs> Because it's like, what? On their face. And I know when they walked in, they had to be like, <gasps> oh, yeah. Because yeah. it was thick. <laughs> That's awesome. And I didn't see it would come out of the elevator, so I don't know where it would come from. Like, yeah. Is there like a gremlin on top just <laughs> just huffing into the vent? <laughs> so, so hey, Mac, when you're done doing your home improvements over there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, maybe you should wear proper shoes. I did, did hear, you hear that. <laughs> uh, everything. <laughs> Everything you just did. For real? Yeah. The drill, the everything. <laughs> what, what I don't get is he knows he has sensitive equipment in this room. Yeah. He even brags. Yeah. This mic is great. Picks up everything. Yeah. And cool. we have we have, <laughs> we have speakers directly connected to it right on our heads. Did, Wait. Did you, did you guys hear that? You guys could hear that? With the headphones now, on even? Now, I will give you this, Mac. I didn't hear it in my right ear. <laughs> but my left ear heard it, clearly. <laughs> He's half in tune. What's going on? So- I'm going to ask one question before we go into our like uh, fun facts and stuff. And this is because it kind of came up this week with. Uh, they, well, congratulations. Like, yeah. But like energy, like energy, like what gives you energy? What pumps you up? What jacks, what jacks you up? What gets you going? Uh, so far, this trash drink is not. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, but it's like, so, so for some people, is it like, is it music? Some people is like, oh, I hear a certain song or I can listen to a certain playlist. Other people, it's like certain people. I get around certain people, and it's like, okay, I'm I'm wired now. We're gonna we're gonna go nuts. Um, for me, I'm gonna give you mine. Oh no, I have big sandwich energy. Okay, <laughs> okay, this is what I like. So a certain sandwich. I like a big sandwich. If you give me a big sandwich, like my whole world gets better immediately. Now, it doesn't matter what's the, going on the around. The thought me. of the sandwich, the eating the sandwich, the finish. Like what part? What point into the, well, the sandwich finishing, experience? The finishing is is kind of a it's it's a it's a down it's a downer. Downer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because unless there's like say it's now, infinite big sandwich energy, that I would be awesome. I was in Jersey this week, but in order to get there, I flew into uh, Philly because it was closer to. Oh, the is that where you got Jersey. Your yeah. Meal? Well, I I was walking through and they had a Gino steak, which I know the airport version of famous places are not the same, but it's also. It's closer than I've ever been, right? Right. So I was like, I've never had Pats or Genos from from Philadelphia. I know they're the, like, I know they're the gross like tourists, like tourists go there, but locals don't. Right. But I was like, I'm just gonna grab it. It's right here. Had I known there was a gyms further down, long story, don't need to know. I would have gotten that. But anyway, I take a picture of that. Suddenly, there's people in my social media debating about things going on like in their lives, and I was like, that was sandwich energy, man. The sandwich me, energy. Me posting see? a picture of a sandwich I ate. Yeah. Started out a conversation with some of the people who are debating. Well, well, no, actually, if actually in the 1970s, if you would have gone to this place, it would have. You know, what I mean? <laughs> yeah. it was like, I was, and I was like, hey, uh, feel free to continue having interesting conversations in here because clearly yeah. I'm not. So let me, I'm going to backtrack a little bit into your story before I go to my big sandwich energy. And you kind of brought me down for my big I, sandwich I, energy. God, I was hoping. Yeah, I, I'm. I, I'm but disappointed I didn't bring you all the I'm, way down. I'm. I've never been proud of you, but I've never been less proud of you than I am right now. Okay. Okay. And the reason being, when you said, had I known there was one down the road, I would stop. You can eat both, okay? Well, there is no reason that says you have to be like, oh, okay. Now I realize that's an expensive meal, but maybe you put down half the Genos and you go, eh, oh, well, all right, I had it. Well, I did. Well, I'd finish the entire Geno, and the, ex the expense wouldn't have mattered because one of them, some other, nice business paid for. <laughs> uh, it was some lunch, <laughs> yeah, some lunch. So I no, I ate the whole thing, and then I realized there was another one. And at that point, I was like, well, I got to fly. Oh, I didn't want to, you know, because I was going into the plane. If gotcha. I had landed and been like, whatever. But right. 
That's when I was like, I don't, oh, I don't. I'd have been on the dank bus eating myself a sandwich. Yeah, well, yeah, you would have been yeah. like, I have. You would have been that guy two from, sandwich energy from a couple episodes back. You'd have been the guy kicked off Spirit for was yeah. it? <laughs> wasn't me. <laughs> wasn't me, sir. You literally that have, smells like competing cheesesteaks. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> Dueling cheesesteaks. And it just comes out. Yeah. Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you go to Jim's and Gino's? Is that too? Is that too? Did you get crab fries at Gino's? You know pizza? what's weird is I go to both and then you see me just smash them into one and go, big sandwich energy. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's like, and I'm telling you, what I are you was doing? so like, I could put another one in me. Yeah. I don't know how that's going to roll though. Hey, you never know till you do it. And nobody likes a quitter. So well, next it time. It turns out I didn't, I had a window seat in the, in the exit row. Which is the bigger row, but it was one of the ones where the the fuselage like leans over you, so I didn't even get a right armrest. I just get like literally the size of a cell phone, mm -hmm. like probably command stripped to the side. <laughs> that was my right armrest. Kid running by, knocking and it the off. <laughs> petite woman in the middle literally was like she was boxing out for the for the Knicks. Like, oh in really? The middle. Like literally, the entire time her You're elbow, like Rodman, her chill elbow out. was right underneath my <laughs> left nipple the whole time, and I'm like. That uh, me too, lady. Like, I was can say, you not? Yeah. yeah. If you, but if you reciprocated that, oh, for sure, that would have been you would have been thrown off that plane. If I would have been like, oh, we doing we doing comparisons? <laughs> yeah. Tit for tat. Right. <laughs> so at one point, I, I, for one hour in, I literally <laughs> leaned forward and just like leaned into the extra row space and just like sat up that way. And I was like, well, I guess I'm never going back because she. I don't know. Somehow she like like sludged into the rest of that space I opened. Really? Up. Yeah. I don't. Wow. And she was small. Man, it was not big. Wow. So what's I your, understand if you're a heavy person, I, I am that shape. I get it. Like right. space opens up, your body just kind of like, oh, I'll just take some of that. Right. She did not need the space she was taking up. She was literally like, and then on the other end, it was an older woman. She was boxing that woman out too. Cause that woman was like, we were like at a V shape. Like yeah. that woman was into the aisle and I was over the wing at one point. Well, you say that about seats. So I went and saw my daughter had a performance at school. I went, that's where, that's why we <laughs> pushed this back today. I wasn't going to say it, but, but I was thinking it. But when we're talking about seats, so I sat in the seat and I almost was like, this is mine now. You know what I mean? It was almost like when I get up in the row moves, you know, uh, I, I own this. You know, this is mine. Because you were stuck in the arms? Uh, <laughs> is that why the row yeah, moved? Yeah. You sat in the, you sat in the middle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, we, we've we sidetracked no. from your big sandwich energy. Yeah. But so here's my, here's my point. <laughs> Nothing gets me more excited than like, I'll go to Jimmy John's and I'll get the gargantuan. Now that's just a sandwich, but it's big. We, we talked about I'll, it on the show. Yeah. But you know, you know what I'll do then? You know, I, I, no, I'll get the big one. I was like, give me a gargantuan and give me one of those slims just to chase it down. <laughs> I need a chaser. I need to make sure the gargantuan goes down. I put it on the rim. <laughs> I just, are you eating over the slim? I am. I am. I'm, it's on the rim. That's what I'm doing. Uh, big sandwich energy. But uh, but no, I and then I wondered if it would go into different things like like a big burrito energy. I mean, I could probably, anything that I could eat that's big would probably give me energy. I'll tell you, you what know? doesn't excite me anymore is whenever like, hey, we're getting lunch. And I'm like, cool. And then. 25 minutes later, four pieces show up, and I'm like, ah, Ted's going to get his own lunch. <laughs> yeah. I wish I would have known that 25 minutes ago. Hey, uh, do they even have a salad there? You know, yeah. normally they do pizza and salad. Could yeah. I, can I get a salad? Well, and that's <laughs> the thing. is like if you're in the middle of a project, suddenly you don't want to go find, like, oh, uh, did they not bring a fork? Cool. Right. <laughs> cool. Ted's taking a second lunch. Go get a fork. Well, you just standing there with that big plastic tray and your face just in it. <laughs> yeah. And you already smell it. You already put all your yeah. your dressing on. You're like, oh, this you're, is so you're, good. You're yeah. taping paper clips together in some sort of MacGyver <laughs> fork fashion. So, again, can we agree? Because you've seen me around Big Sandwich. You, I have Big Sandwich energy. I really do, right? <laughs> Like, could, if I had a big sandwich right now, would I light up this room? Oh, yeah. I swear, if Mac suddenly brought in, like, a long sub that went this whole table, yeah, you would light up. Because, But I know, guarantee you, Mac would be like, that's not for you. Yeah, that's not supposed to be <laughs> out. That shouldn't have been out. Yeah, that shouldn't have been That's out. for the next podcast. <laughs> I just don't have a place to put it in this other room. <laughs> that's for subs of fun. They come in after you. <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> It's a new podcast I'm doing. <laughs> And if there's no subs of fun. He's literally going to throw the sandwich away when I leave. It was all a prop. So, yeah. But, Illinois uh, man named Dubs of Fun <laughs> kills the proprietors of subs of fun. Subs of fun. <laughs> so, let's do a couple fun facts. <laughs> and this first one is probably one of the coolest things I've ever read. So, I had to, I had to share it today. A 74-year-old Japanese man dressed as a ninja and possessing great physical ability, carried out 254 break-ins worth $260,000 before he was caught by police. Please tell me some of those break-ins were at Guitar Center. <laughs> <laughs> and he was the dude in the ceiling. Yeah, right. 
Do, do, do. He's just coming down. <laughs> and that's what Mac has been like, been like trying to be like. The, he, he's known who it is this whole time. Right. He's like, one day I'll be that guy. But but so two things. Okay. Let's do the math. Two hundred fifty four break ins, two hundred sixty thousand. So the guy's getting roughly a yeah. grand a pop. Okay. Uh, it's not bad. But here's the deal. Couldn't you hit somewhere that would give you like ten grand? And you, then you only have to do like twenty five. He's an old man, man. <laughs> he might be limber, but maybe he just can't carry a lot of you know, stuff. I was gonna say either that you just made me think, or he's got to be home in time for Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> so he leaves. <laughs> he well, left a lot of good that's shit. That's the problem. He can only steal from older proprietary people because, like, <laughs> he has to be home for the you know, like for the early bird special, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, like, he can't be out. <laughs> he only breaks in houses during church. He he break <laughs> he probably breaks into that place I found in Long Island where they were you know that that like Hallmark. Yeah, store, yeah. Or hardware store. Can we have to find anything? Because they're old people, <laughs> yeah. and they close down at three thirty. And he's like, "Okay, I got an hour to get in there <laughs> yeah. before they serve the pudding." Right. Okay, they're turning on Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> but, Wheel. But, oh, oh, gotta get back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is he buying a vowel? I gotta get out of here. But then my other thought was, hey, "You're right." I mean, I guess, I guess that makes sense. But I thought he might need to nap, you know, because he's <laughs> he's that age, you know. But then, could you imagine, like, getting to the old folks' home, and they're like, we think he lives here. And there's just a guy in a full ninja costume with his sword and everything. <laughs> like, this guy's sitting right here, right? He just he just sitting there in a wheelchair, and you're like, wait a minute. We could, we could, like, well, you can only, he can't rob after dark, because, like, he can't see at night to drive. <laughs> yeah, cataracts. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. What is he? He primarily takes pudding, tapioca pudding. Uh, that's primarily what he takes. So yeah, he, <laughs> he doesn't steal any electronics because he just can't figure them out. But but I love how. So okay, he's a Japanese man and he believes he's a ninja and he and he's, he possesses great physical ability. Cool. But when you put seventy four in front of that, you're right. like, bro, you know, you could have done this at a younger age. Right. Did you just start? Well, maybe he's like he got to retirement age, looked at his bank account, and went, oh no, oh man, my four hundred one k's in the tank. <laughs> I got to make some money quick. <laughs> you know, if I can make a grand a week. <laughs> <he's> just, <laughs> this is literally like a movie where the guy's like had this career. He's done the, everything right his entire time. He gets to the end of his life. They hand, they like, they give, him, they give him a pink slip and he's like, I, I got nothing. What, what have I done all this work for? <laughs> Cut to him like slowly stealing like just a thousand dollars from them at a pop, you know, just nothing that they're going to notice. But you know how they catch him? He's got the freaking 25 year watch on his wrist <laughs> that they gave him when they cut him loose. Hey. Here's your watch. Thanks for your He's service. He's just in all black except a glint of gold. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. That is, says Ronnie on it. Is, is this the, 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 like the Bimex we got him? <laughs> right. <laughs> the Faco? <laughs> the Bimex. Well, because it's a bimetal product. We're not sure what it is. <laughs> we can't afford Timex. What yeah. are you talking about? <laughs> so I, I have two more, all right? Uh, this one here. One in every five adults believe that aliens are hiding in our planet disguised as humans. I, so, I, so you're saying 20%. 20%. Now, now I might be of the other side where I go, I think 20% of people are aliens. So, <laughs> so is that who they're polling? Are they like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I feel there's definitely aliens here, you know? So, but. And, well, is, is that the thing? Is that it's the 20% just pointing at other weirdos that are like, that guy's got to be an alien. Right. Where the other guy's like, that guy's got to be an alien. <laughs> where the other 80% of us are like, you guys are just dumbs. That's what's going on I should on say, a poll taken in Tennessee. Well, <laughs> says, you let's know, find out here. Mac, what do you think? Aliens? No. Yes, no. Aliens. Yeah. Oh, well, there's 30 30, 30, 30% 30 of the room. <laughs> so we're already higher than the national average. <laughs> so John Wish over there believes yeah. believes there's aliens. So what about you? Do you have a, you have a, you lean either way? No, I don't think so. No? They're. Yeah. No? I just, I, do I believe there's other life forms somewhere? Yeah. Do I know yeah, if do, they're, do they're, they're here they're blending here? in? I don't know. It yeah. seems kind of. I mean, do you legitimately know how far you would have to travel to get here? Yeah. And then they would get here and see this and just be like, no. Yeah. <laughs> this is like the real world on MTV. You know what yeah. I mean? This is like, or like, this is something that has the word snooky in it. You know, you're not, you don't go yeah. out of your way to become an extra on this show. Because in our luck, the aliens would land. The first people they would run into would be like, hey, what, can you tell us about this world? This world? Well, first off, it's flat. Yeah. <laughs> and then just be like, oh, we're out. Yeah. Do you realize we came from up there. We could see it from a yeah. distance. <laughs> right. We can prove it's not. Right. No, it's flat. <laughs> it's flat and there's no such thing as aliens. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I got bad news and bad news. Yeah. So let, let me, let me, 
piss in your Wheaties twice right now. Okay. <laughs> Here's what's going to happen. <laughs> Either yeah. that, or they just disguise themselves as 74-year-old J- Japanese <laughs> men just, yeah. and just easily steal things because they have alien powers. Yeah. yeah, it's just floating across the room. That's my pudding now. <laughs> they just start eating it. Wow, that guy likes pudding. You do not want that pudding. <laughs> you will yeah. give me that pudding. Yeah, yeah. The, the, just the, the mind, mind trick. Of the yeah. mind trick. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, so 33% of us <laughs> believe there's aliens. Um, now, so, are you basing that on the fact that there's pyramids on both sides of the, the earth, Mac? What do you think, Mac? You a pyramid guy? Yes. All right. Okay. All right. It just felt like that just felt like something Mac would do. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he's just playing along just to get us off this topic I, or I, what. I but. do believe that we could answer that for him, but I let, yeah. went ahead and let him answer. So here's well, here's sometimes a last... I just check to see if he's paying attention. <laughs> right. Or if he's over there, you know, building forts. Well, I was gonna say did. he's not he's not doing any projects right now. So So they would have got there, there's gonna be nine more microwave carts. <laughs> All the Ikea boxes in the hallway. Where did this even come from? Did the Amazon guy come? What are we doing? There's not even an Ikea in this town. <laughs> How far did you drive when we were recording? <laughs> also, every time we come in here, it's like a, it's like in a different escape room. Yeah. Because everything is moved. Yeah. But, and it's not like this is a small well, table or small TV. And the table's TVs. closing in. Yeah. The table's closing in. Everything is always different. Yeah. He's like, I can't, I can't let them... Put nail me down. Yeah. yeah, these guys, they look pretty comfortable. That way if something goes wrong, they can't give a good description to the cops. Right. Yeah. Like, Mac, they're going to be asking their description of you. Yeah. Not your room. John Wish. Okay. Found him. Well, the table was at a 33 deg- degree angle. No, no, yeah. not, not the table, idiot. We want to know what he looks like. Yeah. Oh, uh, go went, go buy Keanu Reeves yeah. off Wish. I was going to say, you guys ever seen Keanu Reeves without manners? It's this guy. We got him right here. We nailed it. Because <laughs> he's supposed to be like the politest guy to face the earth, right? <laughs> so... So well, we're, yeah, he only has manners if you pay him his money. Yeah. Rihanna Keeves, right here. That's what we got. We got Rihanna Keeves. RK in the house. So here's our last one. Hey, this one here, I gotta be honest with you. If you're this stupid, then you deserve to be you you deserve bad things to happen in your life. When a woman's Fitbit watch displayed a spike. Oh no. You know this one, right? Yeah. At 2 a.m., she realized her boyfriend was cheating. You know why? They synced them. And that stupid SOB burned 500 calories at 2 a.m. And he wasn't home. Now, see, if it was you, it'd be because you'd be eating a uh, big sandwich downstairs. Yeah, <laughs> big sandwich energy. I'm just doing jumping jacks. <laughs> I'm all covered in mayo. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> what did you do? That second gargantuan was for tomorrow. Yeah. Well, technically it is. It's 12.01. <laughs> but, but that's why I said... It, if you're going to do stuff like that, like, see, I have a, so I have a tracker on my phone and some of my friends are like, why do you do that? I do it. I have it on my kids' phones, have it on my wife's phone. I know where everybody's at all the time. If I want to look, I know I get alerts when they leave the house or enter the house. You know, I know that stuff. Here's the deal. If I'm going to do stuff, I don't want people to know about. I'm first off, not going to have a tracker on my phone. But second off, I'm not going to sync anything right. to anybody that I don't want to know what's going on. Because unless I'm a track star, that's nocturnal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and and or find an open gym at 2 a.m. Uh, I'm doing well, nothing I, good. I was just asking Mr. Owl how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. <laughs> yeah. One, <laughs> two. Correct. Where, where were they keeping that Tootsie Pop is what I want to know. <laughs> so, so yeah, again, when when you do that, you, you do have to be an idiot, yeah. you know. But when you, like, tell her, oh, I love you so much. Oh, look, we'll sink this. So, and then all of a sudden... Your, your shit's screaming. Yeah. Your, your, her Fitbit is it's alerting, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, your partner might be dying. Please check on yes, him. Yes, yes. Well, he's not home. This I'm... is the most activity we've seen from him yeah. <laughs> since last week at this time at two a.m. <laughs> Before your watches were synced. Yeah. What? Why is the watch selling me out yeah. now? What's Fitbit? What are we doing? So you know what's weird? As I've done Fitbit challenges, with people, this is never part of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, hey, that'd be great if like you because you get those little like a. Awards like you've climbed the the, the uh you've got as many steps as <laughs> yeah. as the Great Pyramid, so to speak. You know, <laughs> like, yeah. well, you found the center of the Tootsie Pop at two a.m. Yeah, you you railed your way into some cardio <laughs> at two a.m. and now your lady knows about it. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> wow. <laughs> If nothing else, put it on the dog. Let the dog walk around with it on or something, and be like, hey, you know, whatever. Come on, man, you're better. You're better than this. I have to assume. All right, so that would be funny though. If let's say that she is she 
assumes that's going on. Yeah. Gets all open arms, like calls people, tries to find out, and so, does all that from upstairs, goes downstairs, and just sees him eating a sandwich and the dog running back and forth. <laughs> and uh, yeah. she's like, oh, um, well, you're going to get a weird call from a lawyer tomorrow. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know how we're always playing pranks on each other? <laughs> so here's what's weird. I'm going to pretend like I'm filing for divorce. Okay. <laughs> He's just like, what? Yeah. <laughs> and then the chick comes out of the closet yeah. and he's like, whoo, that was close. <laughs> Smart thing of putting that thing on the dog. <laughs> I listened to that checks out. <laughs> Me and that other guy, we know how to do this. <laughs> you mean the other guy in chat checks out? No, the other guy that listens. Both, both of us know how to do this. <laughs> me and Ed. I was just going to say. <laughs> me and Ed. Me and Ed know how to do Ed this. Ed knows how to do stuff now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just funny. Someone was talking to me the other day. Like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, on a long trip. I'm, listen- I'm catching up on some episodes. I'm like, oh, that's cool. They're like, I'm no super fan. Like those people in Iowa, that one guy. And I was like, Ed? They're like, yeah, that's the one. And I was like, they <laughs> right. know about you, Ed. Hey, you're famous. You're famous. <laughs> so we are not, but people know who you wow, are. Wow, he's infamous. <laughs> yeah. That means really famous. So let's, uh, you know what? I, I like the fun, I really like the fun facts. I wish I would have put a couple more on there, but uh, yeah, because I'm going to skip, I'm going to skip this. I'm skip, skip, skip. Yeah. Skip. Hey, I was thinking about trying something new because we have a little bit of time. What about, I, I had something, what if I do TCO headlines where I get, because you did this with a story. What if I give the headline and then we kind of write the okay. backstory? Is that cool? Yeah. Okay. So here, we'll do TCO headlines. And this is, uh, this is the first one. Woman has a phobia of overflowing baths after witnessing traumatic incident as a child. What could have happened? Did it over? <laughs> did it overflow into her tub side toaster? Right <laughs> there, I was making my toaster. No, is that what happened to her? Like to her dad? His dad was her dad was enjoying her, her his you know bath side toaster strudel. <laughs> <laughs> she distracted him, didn't realize that the water was going over, and she watched right. her, her dad get murdered by that. <laughs> so I just don't – an overflowing bath. First off, I I would be traumatized by that ever because I'm an adult now, and when I think – like you ever – you know, you leave the sink on, you're yeah. doing something, and you're in the fridge, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, I'm kind of hungry. And then you're like – now you're staring at it for two minutes. It's like the water's running the whole time behind you. Well – you know the hotel room I got, the one that doesn't lock. Yeah. First, I walk in, I notice that it's, you could literally park probably a, 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 an SUV in there. You wouldn't notice it. Right. And then I look over in the bathroom, I notice it's zero entry, and I walk, I walk back downstairs. So I think, did I book an accessible room? Because I don't need that. They're like, oh, it was the only one left. I'm like, okay, because I don't want to take that away from someone who needs it. <laughs> Are you guys judging me? Yeah. <laughs> I could step over the side right. of a tub, bro. <laughs> but so then I'm in there, and I, and I, there's a. Uh, a handheld one, you know, because in case they're in a wheelchair. Right, there's, right. A, there's a bench that you could pull down. I didn't pull that down. So I turn on the shower, and then it's it's shooting into the wall, and I'm just, like, kind of feeling to where I'm like, okay, now it's good. And I take my shower, and I turn it off. I realized that whole time it was hitting the wall. It was coming around the corner of the shower and shooting out into the beginning of the <laughs> – And I was like, oh, no. Because <laughs> it wasn't a lip at all. I mean, it was just right. shooting out. And I was right. like – and it, like, if I had put the thing there, I would have felt bad. But I didn't put it there. I just turned on the shower. Right. Just had my hand in it. But literally, I was like, "Literally, what is that?" And I look over; it's literally just a giant puddle by the front door. Well, but, maybe, but maybe, maybe, maybe she that's was, what happened to her. Maybe she maybe she's a floor underneath your shower. Either that, or she walked out and she slipped. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. If her tub was only a quarter of an inch high, that's pretty easy to overflow. <laughs> I was gonna say you should have just flooded the whole place and been like, it "Needs me bubbles bath." Yeah. You know what I mean? I gotta have me bubbles. Okay, so I got two problems. <laughs> First. I broke your door so I could get up, so I could have people come in and join me in the bubble bath. And no one came in. <laughs> yeah. Secondly, I've ruined floor one. <laughs> oh, and thirdly, via floor I, two, I, I switched the numbers, thinking the guy from seven ten would join me for a bubble bath. Never happened. So it is. What okay. It is. So first, yeah. So first off, um, I'm gonna need a map of the second floor because all the numbers are messed up. <laughs> right. Secondly, <laughs> how many paces? <laughs> How many paces? That's twelve paces. Then turn to the left. Do you know how many steps step from the elevator I was? Sir, there's numbers on all the uh, all the rooms. About that. Yeah. Hypothetically, there is. Have you ever heard of the fasteners called screws? Yeah. <laughs> because your command you, strips didn't really work. I was going to say, because you are screwed now, sir. Uh, you know just, they talk about how easy command strips come off the wall? You hand them all the numbers and go, which one's mine? Yeah. <laughs> oh, just, just like fan them out. Pick a number. Any number. <laughs> any number. <laughs> or just but, like one at a time, but it's like just to have them below the counter at the front desk yeah. and just do do do. Just like I love that noise. I just love it. Do, do, do. What do you What do you think we would call bathtub phobia? 
Well, how, what do we name that? What, what do we name that? What do we name it? I talk a little bit more because I didn't know okay. that was coming. So yeah, no, no. But you, so so again, we're trying to determine why she has a phobia of overflowing baths after witnessing a traumatic incident as a child. So she was a child. Yeah. And she witnessed something. Like I said, I think you're you're on the right thing. Dad was frosting his toaster strudel, <laughs> and that's when the you know what I mean. Because you know he had to take that extra step. Well, you can just pop it out. He probably forgot yeah. to unplug the toaster. You know what I mean. So right. he's frosting it, and then all of a sudden, who here it go? You know, you're right. I I'm going to tell you right now. That's how he died. If we were playing Clue right now, yeah. it'd be Dad, Toaster in the bathroom. Yeah. It was Dad's inability to wait for his breakfast yeah. in the bathroom. And you open up the envelope. There's just a packet of frosting from a toaster strudel. You're like, told you. I knew frosting gets you every time. You're not going to stop and not frost it. So do you do you think you have something? I don't know for that one. Is, I, see, I don't either uh, yeah. because I don't know a phobia. So, it, I mean, it's not it's not tubophobia, right, or tubophobia, yeah. or, or, I mean, right. you know, what do you – do you go with a brand name then? Is it like color, yeah, you color can't do, phobia? You can do like aquaphobia because that's a fear of water. <laughs> yeah. this, this is a specific use of water. Right. If it's a dry tub, you shouldn't be afraid then, yeah. right? So, but, uh, but yeah. Well, so, what we call it – you know what we call it? Huh? Flow no. Yeah. <laughs> Overflobia. <laughs> Overflobia. We got it. We got through in the yeah. end. There it was. Overflobia. We had to get there. Overflobia colon flow no. <laughs> From the makers of flow now, <laughs> we give you overflobia. Do you have overflobia? <laughs> we got a hole the side of your tub. We <laughs> call it the flow no. <laughs> Do you like warm toaster strudels <laughs> and a bubble bath? <laughs> then you need overflobia. <laughs> you, are you just incapable of keeping your toaster out of the bathroom? <laughs> Capable, you know what I see? Everybody now when they're redoing, they're like, "What's that ledge for?" Oh, it's a toaster ledge. There's a socket right in the shower. Oh, it's a GFI, oh, man. Is, it's is, a GFI. Is, is this this is kind of wide for shampoo bottles? Why would you put shampoo bottles? That's the toaster shelf. <laughs> and here's my air fryer no. shelf. <laughs> they put the outlet in the ceiling. Like I'm not an idiot. I think yeah, yeah, I'm not a, yeah, come on, man. <laughs> come on. <laughs> but he's got an extension cord, cord down, say it. Yeah. and the cord's laying in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> so let's it's do surge protected. What are you talking about? <laughs> let's do let's do one more, even though we probably know this whole story from the title. I just thought the title was awesome. Overflobia. <laughs> Overflobia. So that's gonna be the name of this episode. Well, I think. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, a woman runs through 147 red light cameras in boyfriend's car after she catches some cheating. I'm guessing with a Fitbit. <laughs> right. He now owes over one hundred and eighty thousand dollars in fines. <laughs> Listen, I would rather <laughs> my wife's Fitbit goes off in the middle of the night than find out I got one hundred and eighty-seven thousand dollars in debt. I hope it's just the same five lights, and she just went like just spun around. Just <laughs> so if he checks his Fitbit tracker, it just shows his car is like his you know his low jack. His car is just like a <laughs> just a giant oval, just a circle, an oval for four hours. <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. Like, what are you, NASCAR in it out there? I was just going to say, boom, boom. <laughs> you're turning left every time. Come on. <laughs> you know left turns are, are bad, right? right. <laughs> we go right turns. But but 147 red light cameras. First off, now we're snacking. Are we, are we, are yeah. we, uh, are we sharing? Are we, uh, are those Amazon Doritos? driver just dropped off a package. Are the Doritos? The Amazon driver just dropped off a package. You should have had him pop in and say hi. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the That Checks Out with Damon and Ted and the Zon. <laughs> Are you familiar with... Uh, <laughs> now, could he prove this or do you think that this is... Like, hey, uh, it wasn't me. Right. Uh, yeah. I cheated. My girlfriend stole my car and she ran up all this stuff. She would have had to have on like probably a hat. She would have had to like disguise herself because those cameras are pretty good, I think, There's aren't a, they? Yes. There is a... Uh, if you want to find out how that works, I recommend the wonderful episode called Columbo and the Rockstar. Oh yeah, yeah. That's how they catch them. Really? Yeah. Okay. But via, yeah, via the speed camera. <laughs> See, but so. but he he his assistant wears a mask. It, it's a whole thing. You have to just I'm, right. I'm not. But that's spoil what it. I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. But that's if what you had to do. Like, yeah, because if you had a baseball hat, this was in the '90s, and they were able to see the face. Now, it literally, you could like enhance. Yeah, enhance. enhance. Yeah. Is that a toaster? <laughs> Is that backseat overflowing? Oh, flow! Is that, is that a toaster? Overflobia. That's what we're going with, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. I like that. So, yeah, but 147 red light cameras. First off, I know, like, there's a couple on the way here. I tell you, I'm like, hey, these cameras here, they'll send you a ticket today. They don't care. They'll <laughs> yeah. come to your house and knock and be like, we saw. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. They'll catch you at the next light, yeah. you know, and just put a paper on your now, window. Now, if you're driving a Corvette, they'll just reach out to you. <laughs> Hey, you're gonna have a ticket coming to you. Roger that over. <laughs> Breaker one nine. <laughs> it's like Breaker one nine. We saw you run that red light. Uh, uh, this episode is gonna be called Overflowia 
and a side of chips. <laughs> but you got to be the capital C, capital H, nice, small I. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. I still get to be Ponch. So it is what it is. Okay. <laughs> With with punch, yeah, with punch and his big sandwich energy. <laughs> That's exactly where we're going here. <laughs> so let's do. Uh, all right, we're we're gonna do we're gonna do a strange story. We're gonna have strange. <laughs> and no time, Macaulay. Sorry about that. Plenty of time. Plenty to talk. time. Plenty of time no to talk time about. The... No time to talk yeah. about it. Yeah, man, this is what it is. would have been over twice by now. So it says strange stories. Uh, <laughs> ready? All right. Brussels Monopoly game ends in samurai sword fight with a man said to be fighting for his life. Now, now, because he because he had to go back to his like uh, cat burglary job, <laughs> nursing home, right? Yeah. Nursing home, it's getting dusk. <laughs> Seven minutes to Wapner. I'm cutting this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but it says uh, the street where the game had been taking place was left with large stains of blood after the violence broke out at 5 a.m. on Sunday. You're playing in the street at 5 a.m. on April 5th on Sunday. Oh, this is in the UK. So apparently they play. It's okay, because they're on the different side of the street. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. It's on the left side. We're okay. Um, but anyway, it broke out when uh, it went wrong, according to reports. The Wait, Trump- you, said, you said it's a Brussels, but it's in the UK. It says, yeah, it says uh, Brussels. Well, it says Brussels Monopoly game. I wonder if it's Brussels Monopoly. I wonder if that's, I, is that a real maybe thing? That's we may need to Google that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, but it says Samurai Sword Fight broke out. No, broke out in Brussels when a game of Monopoly went wrong. And it says it's in the UK. That's what it says. But it says uh, the report. Yeah, uh, no, okay. Because later on it talks about the Belgian. All right, yeah. let's not get into the ge- yeah, so we won't geographic get into that. of but that. Basically, people are playing this outside on the street at 5 a.m. Not 5 a.m. my time. 5 a.m. <laughs> their time. <laughs> okay. We're going to push pause for a second. That yeah. reminds me. So I'm in the line trying to check my bag because I have medication that is flammable. And they don't like that when I slide that, try to slide that through the uh, check bags yeah. or the non-check, the carry-ons. So I'm in line and the guy in front of me is from Australia. Either that or he watches a lot of Crocodile D slash uh, <laughs> nice. uh, uh, Steve Irwin. Because yeah. based on his accent, he's and he's... He's worried he's not going to make his connection. And the guy behind the counter is trying to explain to him, when you fly west in the United States, you gain time. So, yes, it, the time now is not the time it's going to be there. Like Because he's, right. he's connecting in L.A. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he's worried. The guy's like, you're going to pick up three hours. You're fine. The guy behind me suddenly taps me on the shoulder. He's like, hey, hey, guy. I'm like, oh, where's this going? He's like, do you fly a lot? Like, Enough. He's like, do you ever... Uh, Find out there's a time and place for useless conversation. I'm like, are you talking about the one right here in front of us? And I'm starting to like raise my voice. He's like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I, and then I look back and what was a two person line is now a 14 person line. Oh. Cause this guy's having a chat. I'm like, I see your point. I see where we're going with this. Yeah. And then suddenly he decides to now, uh, play by play in front of, yeah, you don't know where you're going? I know where you're going. You want me to explain it to you? What are we doing, guy? What's going on? I'm like now he's talking over me like I'm like now like a muppet and like yeah. I'm like I want I step over him like this is this guy. I don't I don't have a problem with this. And then he gets up there and I so I get up there and I was like, "Hey, just real quick. I'm going to Chicago. Is that am I going to make that flight cuz is that a different time? Like it's, yeah. <laughs> I was like, is that a different time zone? <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, is that before or after this? What time, time is it there yeah. now? Yeah. What time is it there now? Is it later than now? Is Wait, it what about now? now? Did it change here? Because yeah. it changed yeah. here. <laughs> and I just look back and I'm just staring at that guy. He's just so angry. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Now, do you know where my gate is? Like, I just yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. Hey, are you Sagittarius? Do you, do you believe? Do you believe that one out of every five people might be an alien on this <laughs> earth? <laughs> I, I just like I, this, that guy wanted a like a partner in crime for his being an a hole in line thing. Right, I'm like, you're I'm like, not like oh, yeah, this, this is, is some. Now, I, I, what I don't understand is that kid must have gotten here from. He didn't like. He wasn't an Australian that just like sprouted out of the ground in Philadelphia. Right, yeah, clearly, big he, fan. Clearly, big he fan. came here from somewhere else. He should <laughs> right. know the time changed when he got here. Right. So mm-hmm. I get we're going a little long into explaining to him that yeah, I know it. It's going to be a three-hour flight, and you think you're not going to have time, but three hours in the air, you're going to land at the same time you took off here, because that's how travel that way works. Ooh. Yeah, when I when I flew from Detroit, it took the flight took off at four ten. It was an hour and ten minute flight. I landed at four twenty. Ooh, right? Yeah, I was like, that was a ten minute flight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to brag or nothing, but I, don't brag, uh, but I took a pretty good nap for ten I minutes. Can do it. <laughs> so, so again, thanks for taking us off topic of an awesome Monopoly game at five o'clock in the morning. Their, their time. time. Yeah, that was the point time. of that. You're the one that yes. had to bring that up. So, but it said a man came out of his house brandishing a stick and got into an argument with the Monopoly player. So this guy's not even playing the Monopoly game. But here's the deal. If I was- Well, yo, is he the garbage man? Hey, guys. <laughs> you're in my way. <laughs> or, yeah. Excuse me, lads, yeah. whatever they would call them over. But it says, uh, a report says that the resident's son then came out armed with a Japanese samurai sword in its holster. Okay. So he had it holstered. 
So he wasn't wasn't doing that. During the scuffle that followed, the katana sword became exposed after the sheath was allegedly removed by one of the Monopoly players. So the kid comes out with it, and one of the guys goes, I got this. <laughs> well, that, that's the thing. is like, hey, uh, guys, I'm going to need you to this up. Hey, we're kind of in the middle of a game here. You just hear, shh. <laughs> All right, let me hear you out. <laughs> yeah. First off. Go ahead, say your piece. I'm the thimble. I'm the katana. <laughs> it's all good. One of us is going to win this game. I'm, I'm the katana. I'm, I'm glad that Mac knows Hercule Poirot is uh, Belgium. See? See? He, he, not sometimes, French. He's not French. He is Belgium. Sometimes he understands. But it said the, uh, the player tried to grab the katana and remove the holster. The son tried to get it back. Uh, it's thought that the son and one of the Monopoly players were injured by the blade. But it says the two men were taken to the hospital. It was later dis were later discharged. Local uh, reporter says the resident's son was said to be in life threatening condition. So the other two guys were arrested. So here's what I, if I'm at the hospital and they're trying to explain <clears throat> to me, okay, we were playing Monopoly. I would have been like, they don't just have the thimble in the race car anymore. We're like, right? What are they put him? <laughs> but not even no. that. So the so the resident that came out with a stick, his son came out with a katana. Okay, yeah. two people get cut. But he's the one now in life. Here's the deal. I feel sorry for that no kid one. at all. <laughs> I don't feel sorry for that kid at in the slightest. Right. Yeah. I have big sandwich energy that tells me I hope he doesn't make it. Okay? <laughs> wow. All right? I'm going to tell you that right now. Okay? Y'all going to learn a lesson today. Look, I, I know people that cannot play Monopoly. We have friends that post this on uh, Facebook. They put, and it, The board's upside down. I mean, everything. Yeah. it happens. This is It's not a family fun night because somebody starts inevitably kicking someone's tail, and then somebody gets pissed. Yeah. Okay? Now, it sounds to me that if you're on the street, this sounds like something out of the movie Friday, okay? Because <laughs> it's in, Friday, and we right. ain't got to do. Right. We ain't got to be up for work, so at 5 o'clock in the morning, we're pretending like we're landlords. You Isn't know what I mean? Like, went all night, and now they're just tired, and, and they don't have any sandwich energy. <laughs> you know, they're just like... Well, what do they have over there? Scone energy. Big scone guy energy? Guy comes out with a stick. I'm going to end this. <laughs> I see no end in sight. I got a stick that says I do. Okay. So, but yeah, you always fight over who gets to be the thimble or the car. Or this well, or that. That's what I'm saying. Like, but like, Katana wins. I'm just saying, like, they get to the hospital. What happened? Well, we were playing Monopoly and he got caught by the Katana. Like, wait, were you playing Clue <laughs> or Monopoly? Right. You mean, you mean Candelabra? Because we already, we already found out it was in the bathroom with the toaster. <laughs> so that guess was wrong. <laughs> and he's just got a pocket of frosting. <laughs> Where can they find us, Ted? <laughs> You can find us in an overflowing bathtub at thatchecksout.net. All the socials, I'm that checks out. Ready. WDT. <laughs> you can find Mac at Ikea or at Amazon putting together flat box furniture. Yeah. If you need a microwave cart, you can probably find one here at Audio Hive Podcasting Studio. That checks out as a TCO <laughs> Productions. We'll fix it in post. Mac's, Mac's got big box energy. He's opening oh, yeah. stuff from Amazon. <laughs> Damon's got big sandwich energy. Mac has big box energy. Ted just wants to go home. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. We'll catch you next time.